Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. <sighs> who's here today? Well, we've got Sean and we've got Emma. But don't just sit there, treasures. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> Here. Thanks. What books do we have here? Oh, I've not seen this book for a while. <gasps> River Sea Fingal picture book. It's called Ticket City. Now, you would need a ticket to go on there. Train. Yes, the train. <gasps> or a ticket to go on there. Bus. 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 That's right. <laughs> well, my darlings, someone's missing from home today. <laughs> Not anymore. Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, it's Bobby with time. Bobby. Hi, Hi hello. hello. And hi, my pickle. Come <laughs> away. Such a boy. Here we are, my darling. <laughs> We've been reading a story. Oh, we love stories, don't we, Kai? <laughs> but now you're here, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a character from your favourite storybook? Oh. And we'll try and guess which one it is. <laughs> I can't wait. And once upon a time, Granny Murray and Bobby sat in their seats. <laughs> oh, Kai loves storybooks, Granny Murray. In fact, he mentioned on the way here that he'd like to make a storybook for me tonight. Oh, Oh, that's a great idea. We could make it a picture storybook because every picture tells a story. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. It's always lovely when Kai makes things for me when I'm at work. I sometimes wish that I had the time to make something special for Kai. Well, why don't you make up a story for Kai? But how? Oh, there's plenty of stories about Bobby. You just need to look around and you'll spot one. <laughs> oh, talking of which, there's a story for you. <laughs> it's Goldilocks and the Three Bears, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> hey, I hope you're not too hot underneath all that hair, Claude. <laughs> well done, my darlings. Here you go, Mummy. Oh, is this for me? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Kai. That's lovely, but I'm not sure that I should take this with me, should I, Granny Murray? Oh, yes, you take it away with you. It'll maybe give you some good ideas for stories yourself. <laughs> Thanks, I will. Come here, Kai. I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye, darling. Bye. <laughs> Come on. Every picture tells a story. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. <sighs> I'm running really late today. What's the quickest way for me to get to work? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a bus I'll be, 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 be there quite quick Hurry, hurry, hurry through the bus lanes Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road Whining, 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 drive the speed up Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down Rolling, rolling, rolling through the streets I'm squeaking, squeaking to our stop I'm in, 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 in a hurry Hurry, hurry, hurry but before I do anything, I need to change into my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. I hope I'm going to have time to make up a story for Kai before tomorrow. Ah, Bobby, am I pleased to see you. Hey, Mickey J, what's up? Oh, just a favour. You know the advert inside the bus? Oh, you mean like these? Yes, exactly. Well, I was wondering if I could have some of the old ones for my class to use in school today. Yeah, sure. I'll put them to one side for you. Thanks, Bobby. Oh, and if there's ever anything I can do for you, say the word. Well, there is something you could help me with. I'm trying to make up a story for Kai, but I just can't think of anything. A story? I've got the very thing. Have a seat. You should read him this. Ooh. Treasure Island. It's a fantastic read. Oh, but there aren't even any pictures. Well, who needs pictures when you've got your imagination? Listen to this. You'll like this. Grab the ship's wheel, Jimmy lad, shouts Silver. Pushing over barrels and knocking the boarding pirates into the sea with a great splash. Oh, sorry, Bobby. 
So, do you still want to borrow the book, Bobby? Um, well, it looks like quite a long read. I was hoping for a shorter, simpler story. You know, one more like this one. Ah, well, I'm sure you'll think of something before I come back to pick up the adverts later tonight. So, uh, what time suits you? About 11 o'clock. 11 it is. See you then. Bye. Hey, I wonder if Kai's had time to make up a story for me yet. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle, that's for me. There's another wee flower ready to be glued. How's your fairy coming along? Fine. Let me see. Oh, that's beautiful. She's so pretty. She looks just like your mum. <laughs> Having fun, Mummy. Um, once upon a time, in a land far, far away, yes, there lived a dragon. Yes, with tiny flappy wings. Who? Oh no, that's rubbish. Oh, a princess. Yes, a princess who loved to dance and. Say... Oh no, that's really soppy. I know, I know. Once upon a time, there was a woman who had to go to work, and her name was. <laughs> Me. Bobby Boogie Woogie says she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye bye soon. Cleaning while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in bed. Glee. Dazzle the day away Swinging to the city looking pretty and radiant The hubcaps gleam, the paintwork shines A river sea double decker looks so fine The driver she drives, collecting the fares Leaving then arriving she will get you there This bus is stopping from picking up and putting down This bus is shining, it's the talk of the town And Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows. Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes. Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead. Oh, hi, Raymond, Tina. What are you doing here? Well, we've just popped in on our way to rehearsals for the next Shakespeare play we're performing. It's called A Midsummer Night's Dream. And uh, how can I help? You see, in the play, the fairies dance together and we want the audience to believe that we are actually dancing like fairies. Oh, OK. Well, I think I can help with that. If you do exactly what I do, OK, and start off by flapping your arms up and down as if they were fairy wings. That's it. Turn around slowly. OK, now then. Arms down by side, eyes front. OK, raise up your right arm and your left leg and lean to the left. And lift up your left arm and your right leg and lean to the right. That's <laughs> it. How was that? That was perfect, just to take it for our show. Oh, that's a great help. Thanks, Bobby. Oh, actually, before you dash off, I was wondering, could you help me out with something? Oh, well, sure. What is it? I'm trying to think up a story to tell Kai, but I just can't think of one, no matter how hard I try. A Midsummer Night's Dream is your favourite. Why don't you tell Kai that story? OK, I'll just go and write it down. Come on. <laughs> Ready? The story starts when Demetrius and Lysander both want to marry Hermia, but Hermia only likes Lysander. Okay, Hermia only likes Lysander. And then there's the Duke's wedding oh, thing. <laughs> that is so funny, so funny. Especially when Bottom's head gets turned into a donkey's bike. Look, a donkey's head! Hang on, stop, <laughs> stop, stop. Look, this all sounds really great, but um, I think it might just be a little bit too complicated for Kai. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm still not having much luck. I wonder if Granny Murray's remembered to tell Kai a bedtime story. I love to skip in river sea tingle, river sea tingle, that's for me. <laughs> 
thinking up stories certainly gives you an appetite, doesn't it, darling? Oh, your mum will love this. Are you cleaning all the buses? Oh, Kai would love a ride on a fire engine. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Um, did you manage to find any adverts for my class tomorrow? Yeah, I've got masses. Take your pick. Whoa. Oh, this is a lot. Oh, I probably won't be able to use them all. Uh, I'll just take these if that's OK. Sure. Thanks, Bobby. Um, oh, how's your uh, story for Kai coming along, then? Oh, Kai's story. Um, yeah, it's coming along great. I I'm nearly there, in fact. Oh, good news. Well, i better be off. Got to be up bright and early for school tomorrow. Thanks again. Bye. Bye. Oh, Kai's story. Kai's story. What was it again? Um, a long time ago and far, far away. Oh, no, that's not right. Um, once upon a time, there was a dragon. Or was it a princess? Oh, this is no good. I'm nowhere near finishing this story yet. Why not? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop off Kai before going to work. I told Granny Morrie how much I loved it when Kai made things for me. She said it would be fun for me to make something for him while I was at work. A story, maybe? At seven o'clock, I arrived and was visited by Mickey John, who'd come to ask if I could save some of the bus's old advertising boards for him. I thought he could help me think of a story for Kai, but the book he had was a little bit too long for what I wanted. At eight o'clock, Raymond and Tina arrived to see if I could show them how to dance like a fairy. They soon understood all the moves. I only wish I could have understood the story they tried to teach me for Kai. At 11 o'clock, Mickey John returned for the adverts I'd collected for him. He was very happy that I'd found him so many. But I'm not because I still haven't made up a story to tell Kai. Now remember, every picture tells a story. Every picture tells a story. It's time to put my thinking cap on. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I'm like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Once upon a time, there was a very greedy king. He bought and stole every baked bean in the world and nobody but he was allowed to eat baked beans ever again. He would eat baked beans for breakfast, lunch and supper. He would even drive around in his big flash car eating his baked beans. One day as he was driving through the countryside munching on his baked beans, he met a donkey. The donkey grew juicy red tomatoes in a field and would use them to make the most wonderful tomato sauce. When the king tasted the tomato sauce, he realised how delicious it was and demanded the donkey give him the recipe. The donkey refused unless he agreed to share his baked beans with everybody in the world. The king agreed! Woohoo! And from that day to this, everybody in the world is allowed to eat baked beans whenever they want. Wow! I can't believe I've managed to make up a story all on my own. I can't wait to tell it to Kai later. <laughs> Soon the fairy could smell the flowers in her garden again and knew she must be nearly home when swoosh! The salmon leapt out of the water and catapulted the fairy back over the high wall. She landed in her favourite flower bed and knew she was home safe again. <laughs> Sweet dreams, my angel. Ah, oh, Bobby, hi. come on. Your mum's here, Kai. Hiya, Kai. Hello, 
me. Oh. <laughs> you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we should have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thanks. Clever boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Every picture tells a story. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on, you'd better be off. Come on, you. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as Goldilocks, a character from one of their favourite storybooks. Kai wanted to make his mum a picture book and Bobby decided to try and make up a story for him too. Kai drew some beautiful pictures of a fairy princess. I cut out lots of flower shapes to use in the picture book too. It was a lot of work, but we finished it. I read the finished story of the fairy and the flowers to Kai at bedtime and Bobby surprised Kai by giving him a storybook she had made too. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Wiz, the home of ABCs, 1s, 3s and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Wiz. That's how easy it is.